Right guys, it's the 19th of March. I've just dragged these mowers out of the garage. It's been a while since I've done anything actually. I've been doing loads of work in the house. As you probably know, I've not been on here. So I thought what I'll do is, I've actually done a couple of grass this morning. We'll just drag these few out that I've got. And I'm gonna see what I can, uh... So I'm gonna just, um... sorry about that. <laughs> Silly lad. Uh, I'm gonna see if this fires up. David, come and film this buddy and I'll see if this fires up. So I've not fired these up for ages. Come on, David. Zoom. Right, you lads are filming too, are you? Let me just see what it's like. We'll fill some petrol up, haven't I, David? And also, yeah. me film. Yeah, let's see. This is my own one, this. Dodgy, actually. I'll tell you what, let's just have a go on them all. Oh, yeah. I'll film. Try this one, hang on. This one looks good. Then I'm awful! Yeah, it's dimmed. Okay, I'm going in. Try this one. This'll be fun. Right. Try again. What do you think, lads? Think it'll work? Yeah. Yeah? Um, I might do a video about actually just what else I have been doing. Um, everything's uh, going all right here, yeah, everybody's all right. Just uh, very time consuming sometimes. Um, I haven't had a chance to do as many rows as I would have liked, but that was a nice day. I thought I'd come out and just do some filming. People only have to do this for one more. I've got all these. Oh, that's... Yeah. Right. I'll another go with that one later. That one's not so good. Let's try this one. Do you think, Jack? This will work, buddy. Yeah. I don't know if there's any petrol in it. Yeah. It's not going to do that. That one works. Need running a little bit. This one's got a prime on the side, I think. I'm not sure how well this one fires up, to be honest, but I'll have another one that's all running a bit later on. Yeah, that's not so good either, so I've got a bit of work to do to get these running again. Make sure they're all right for summer, but for now, I think I'm going to use uh, this one here. We'll go cut our grass, mate. I know you want to do filming, I've got a little jack filming, haven't I? Can you hold it out? What I've done is I've just filled it with petrol, right? Yeah. Hold it there so we can see. There you go. Jack, you can't see. See there? Yeah. Can you hold it still? I've just filled it with petrol because it won't start, so let's see what we get. There's a primer on it, and I remember that you have to prime it quite a lot of times. I just want to get a few of these running again. You get your finger over the lens, mate. You're looking at me. Can you see me on here? Uh huh. That's it. Um, just a little tip before we uh, go any further is if you're going to do this, if you're going to keep these in garage over winter, make sure you get yourself some uh, fresh petrol and fill them up, you know, at least above halfway because it'll just help you get them started again. Once you get them running again, it'll be fine. It's the same with this mount field over here that nearly snapped my arm off. Once that gets running again, it'll start up absolutely fine. I've just been stood a good few months as I've been, uh, as I say, I've been doing other projects at home, but uh, get these out and get these running. I've actually just cut my grass. Uh, and I'm going to just show you on, on eBay something that uh, I think is confusing quite a few people. 
Now, the, the sort of number one question I get asked is, well, I can't find any uh, mowers in my area. So all I do, and I, I show this on the Masterclass DVD, just go to eBay and type it in, lawnmower nearest first. Don't, you know, categorise it down into new or other or anything, just put everything in. And what happens is, uh, in fact, there's one here I've got my eye on here. Seven, this one here, in fact, I'll just show you, it's £7.75 that. I'm going to get that later on, I think, if I can win that one. I'll probably get that for about £12, £15. Pound. But what I want to say is that people say, oh, I've looked and there's thousands of listings, there's nothing near my house. Well, what you've really got to do is keep your eye at this uh, location here, it's five miles away. And what happens is, you'll generally find that, what you'll generally find is there's loads of listings and you get a bit disheartened because people are selling parts and spares. And you can sort of go down forever and think, oh, well, these must be miles away. But actually, if you look, it's the same seller or similar sellers. And they've just got loads of different items posted. So people do this and they contact me saying, there's nothing in my local area. And they'll keep going. But you've got to just scroll through all this. And even in, if you really, really want to, just put petrol on. You know, you've got to be uh, careful you don't miss anything. You can see how far down I've gone. I'm only five miles from my front door where I've got opportunities to buy other things. Um, and there's most coming up here that are, you know, maybe not potentially what I want at the minute. But I, I always find something. And even right down here at the bottom of these listings here, you're still only sort of five, ten miles away from your front door where you can go and pick these up. Um, yeah, but I've got my eye on a few tonight. I've got my eye on that little fly mower one. This one there, there's a Honda there actually, it's uh, quite a lot of money though. But uh, don't be disheartened if you go through eBay and you can't find anything. Because it's it's not that hard really. You know, a lot of people just think that they, uh, they can't find anything. And it's actually just people selling loads of multiple stuff. And it, uh, it can actually put you off. But as you can see here, it's not that hard to find them. So, we'll get out. I've just actually cut my grass with this one. I'm going to see if we can get this fly mower tonight and we'll go pick that up. And uh, see if it needs any repairs doing to it.